Let's begin by learning how to graph complex numbers in the complex plane, and then we'll look at how to do the modulus of a complex number. So when we have a complex number, we have a real part and an imaginary part. A lot of times you'll see it represented as A plus BI, where A is the real value and B is the imaginary value. And then your I, you might remember from previously that I represents the square root of negative one. Well, if we're plotting this on a plane, we make our horizontal axis the real axis, and our vertical axis, the imaginary axis. And so it's not an X and a Y, it's a real axis and an imaginary axis because the coordinate plane just helps us show the relationship between two different values. It doesn't have to be an X and a Y. And so if we look at this to graph negative four plus three I, negative four is our real value. So that means we move to the left four and then three is our imaginary value. So that means we move up three because it's a positive three. To represent this value on the complex plane, we just put a point right there. Now, why don't you try one? Here's our next example. Hopefully you're saying, okay, this is really easy. My real value is a one, so I'm gonna move to the right one because it's a positive one. And my imaginary value, that B value is a five, so I'm gonna move up five. And to represent this value on the complex plane, you would put a point right there. Now, our second idea is how to find the modulus, which is the absolute value of a complex number. And all we're gonna do here is we're gonna take that real component and that imaginary component, and we're gonna do Pythagorean theorem with them to find the modulus, which we can represent this way. And so if we come back to our last example, we know that this point was represented at this location right here. So if we were to find the modulus, we'd say, okay, that's gonna be the square root of A squared plus B squared, where we said A is our real component and B is our imaginary component. So the modulus of this complex number is five. Now let's do one more example. Here this one looks a little bit different because our A value has a square root and then we have minus BI. That just means our B value is gonna be the negative one since I does not have a coefficient right there. On this particular problem, I didn't include the graph because we don't have to have the graph to do this. We're gonna do the square root of A squared plus B squared. And if I simplify that, that's gonna be five because squaring a square root, those are inverse operations, plus one, that's gonna be the root of six. So the modulus of this complex number is the root of six.